Hi everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I thought we would just have a little chit chat and talk about what to do after a fun holiday and maybe you need a reset. So that might be the situation that I'm in today. Um, I can say honestly that I had a little bit of pie and a little bit of cookies and the scale is up for me, which I'm not happy about, but it's totally, it's my own doing. I could have said no, but I partook in the festivities. And today is, it's the day. Today is the day to get back on. So last night I decided that I would try to figure out what will I do to get myself back on track. It's nothing bad. I mean, it's not like I'm, I'm up 10 pounds. It's nothing, nothing like that. It's just, it's three pounds. But it's three pounds I don't need to contend with. And it's three pounds on top of the other 10 pounds that I'm sitting on top of that I'm not happy with. I'm sitting at the high end of my range for my weight where I wanna be. I'm not happy with that, but Am I going to be mean to myself or give myself that ne negative self-talk? Nope, I'm not. I'm just going to jump right back on board and see where I go with it. If I have a great day, great. If I have a not so great day, oh well, tomorrow's a new day. So that's the attitude that I'm gonna go into with this and see how it goes. So the first thing that I wanted to do is I'm still on vacation. So I wanted to kind of go through and go, okay, what can I do to get myself back on track? And it's not just with food, it's food, it's with exercise, it's with my daily, you know, my daily habits. Um, the good thing is, is that since I've been off on vacation, I've really not slept in. I've gotten up every single day. There's a couple days I may have slept until 8.30, but I mean, it wasn't anything bad. But I mean, I've gotten up, I've gotten dressed, I have accomplished something. My, my, um, the promise I made to myself was that I would do something for myself and that I would do something to get organized or, you know, something that I needed to do off of my to-do list, which is what you kind of see in front of me now. So I have an ongoing to-do list. I need to, um, I guess get that under control because it keeps getting longer, longer than I can kind of contend with. Now, I did purchase a planner, and I'm going to start filling that out this week before the new year starts to maybe get some kind of organization, some kind of schedule, maybe, to get that together. So maybe I'll show that to you. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. I know there's a lot of you know, calendar scheduling gurus out there. I'm not one of them. I'm going to do this from scratch. I have a super busy life. Um, my kids are not home, so I don't have to worry about that. So I don't have the children to contend with. I do have the grandchildren that you know are here from time to time, but nothing. You know, it's not like I have to get up and get kids ready and you know and to pack lunches or anything. But it's just my husband and I, which I'm sure you guys already know. All right, so I've got my ongoing list together. There's a couple of recipes that I want to try so I want to get those on my radar so that I can get those filmed for you and then what you see behind me is my attempt at cleaning out some of my cabinets so what I did is I said what do I need to kind of get back on track are there some things that I can cook that I like that I can have on hand what can I cook to kind of you know use up some of the things out of my freezer my spice cabinet is out of control. It's so messy that I can't find things and I have to pull out four bins to figure out what I have or to find a specific spice. So that's on my radar. Um, I've got that on my list. My utensil drawer needs to be cleaned out. So I'm sure that you have these same lists. And I'll try to include some of this footage in maybe you know what I ate today or you know one of my follow along with my days, something for you. So, I've got that list going here. Um, I've got a couple of things that I want to definitely get done before I go back to work. So those are like my top high priority items. There are a couple of other things that I want to get done, but they're not so high priority. And you know what? If I get them done this week, great. If I don't, I could put them off until January, but I want to put them into my planner. So um, I'll show you my planner. Hold, please. 
Okay, so the planner that I bought was just a at-a-glance calendar. Um, I bought it off Amazon. I'll put the link below to the one that I have here. And it is just a nice, I don't know if you can see this, but just a nice calendar. And I like it because it has the week and it has the hours on here. So, I mean, I do have a day shift job. It does only go till eight, which is good because I really don't need to be working past that in my house. But I also found some stickers at Target. And this first one is a sticker book for wellness. And it has things in there that are like strength, cardio, yoga, workout, uh, pay bills, appointments, birthdays, exercise. I mean, just little things like that in here, which will be great to kind of keep me on track. Um, there are some other stickers inside. I haven't even opened these up yet. And then I also got the inspirational sticker book. And it says, today was okay. Um, up, thumbs up, thumbs down, okay. And then it's just got some check marks and things like that. I just thought this might be fun to kind of play with. So again, it has several stickers on it. So we'll see. I bought stickers before. I don't really use them. Um, I'm not those let me decorate my planner type girls because that's just too much. But I thought a couple of check boxes or something in there that you know just kind of might be fun to do. We'll see. We'll see if I use them. If not, I'll pass them along to somebody that will use them. So that's the planner. That's what I'm going to start filling out. Um, I'm going to start working on that probably tomorrow. We've got a pretty busy day today. So I'm not going to kind of take you along with my whole day. I just wanted to kind of get this filmed. Um, so back to my food behind me. I'm going to make a pasta fagioli soup um, because that's one soup that I really, really like. And I think it's gonna be one smart point per serving. I do have a video for that one on the channel. Um, I'll try to remember to link that too so that you can make that as well. I am gonna switch it up. I'm gonna use whole wheat noodles, which brings me back to my, count, my counter. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, because I'm still following the purple plan. I should be following the purple plan. Let's get honest here. I have not been following it to the T. I get up in the morning with good intentions and then fall off track. It's just, it's been a, it's been a good week. So time for me to get back. Um, we're not all perfect. I've told you guys that before. We're not all perfect here. And we all have our good days and our bad days and our struggles. So I try to show you the best of the best because I think it's very inspirational to give you some ideas of things that you could try or give you a day that you can repeat and stay on plan. Um, I've never, I, I don't, I can't, I don't think, I think, I think I've talked about this before. Um, I don't know. I just really never shared a whole lot of that. And I think that since I'm not a daily vlogger, you don't see my ups and downs and my ins and outs. I know I do talk about it from the time to time, but I am going to be talking about it a little bit more because of the fact that I need to get this extra weight off. So that's gonna be a very, a, a very good focus for me. So what I did is I made a grocery list. Um, I, I use an app called Any List. And I've been putting my recipes in there so I can just click a button and it adds all my ingredients to the list of what I need for that recipe, which is really handy. So I've got my list going, and then um, what I did is I went through my cabinets, which brings us to what we see behind. And I'll go through and kind of tell you what I'm going to do with that, some of that stuff here in just a second. So I went through my cabinets to see, again, what do I have that I don't have to rebuy? Because, I mean, I'm sure that you do the same thing. Beans are on sale, let me pick up four cans. Corn's on sale, let me pick up four cans. You know, meat's on sale, let me stock up on that. Well, I'm pretty stocked. So I wanted to kind of show you what, you know, my grocery hauls every week, but they're going to be pretty light for the next couple of weeks. So I thought what I'll do instead is I'll show you my grocery haul and then I'll show you what I didn't buy because I already have it and then show you the meals around that. So we're going to try that for a couple of weeks and hopefully I can kind of start working my way through my freezers, multiple, 
and then my cabinets as well. So I'm gonna try to you know kind of get rid of some of that overstock. I don't know why I do that, why I stock up so much, but that's neither here nor there. Maybe I'll figure it out, you know, figure it all out before we get through this this small series. So that said, I'm gonna turn you around and show you what I got. And then I'll come back and we'll close this out so that I can get you guys this footage today just to kind of show you where I'm at, where I'm going, and hopefully you like it. As always, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Um, I think that we have fun here. I have a great group of followers. We're very active. Um, you, we do have the Facebook group, which is WW365, that you can request to join there. And uh, I think that's it. Oh, you can follow me on Instagram as well. Same thing, Prep Whisperer. And that's it. All right, let me turn you around, show you what I got, and let's close this up. Okay, so I had the whole wheat elbow macaroni on my radar and I already had a box that's I only used probably eight ounces of so I mean maybe I had the eight ounces that I need so we have that I did have a second box so I'm gonna try to remember to make something with that I do like me a good tuna macaroni salad so maybe I'll whip that up this week um ooh, I should show you how I do that all right so that's a thought I should write that down all right so um I needed some white kidney beans for my pasta fagioli soup I found these pineapple tidbits, which I just like to snack on. Um, I needed some peaches for my overnight oats, so I had those. What's kind of exciting that I don't have to buy those. You could see my Echo Show back there. Um, my husband got me that for Christmas. I'm pretty excited about that. And now I can video chat with the grandkids, so super fun there. Um, great Northern Beans. I needed these for my turkey taco soup. And I don't know if I'll make that this week or next week, but I'm gonna, I just wanted to make sure that I had the ingredients for that. So I needed 48 ounces. I have, I don't know, I might get one more can of these while I'm out just to kind of put four cans in there just to make sure it's nice and has a ton of beans in it. I needed black beans for a new recipe. That one's coming your way. I will um, film that one and we'll show you that. I needed two cans of diced tomatoes for the pasta fagioli soup. I needed parsley and oregano, and again, that was my struggle trying to find those. Not the parsley, I knew where that one was because it's so big, but the oregano leaves, it took me a little while to find that, so I'm definitely gonna clean that out. And then these right, light red kidney beans, I just needed a can of red kidney beans for the pasta fagioli soup. So now I have that, so that that's, I mean, that's a lot less than I have to buy. So I'm going to head off to the stores now, and get the rest of the ingredients that I need. Maybe I'll film what I have at the end and show you what I bought. Maybe I'll do that before I close this out. So I'll do that and then I'll close out the, the video from there. So hang tight. Okay, so I'm back from my Aldi's, Walmart, Sam's Club, Target, PetSmart haul. Isn't that funny? So I got a lot crammed into about three hours this morning. So let me tell you what I got. I Picked up some bananas and some grapes, just or just for snacking. Picked up some hamburger buns, forgot to scan those. I'm gonna say three points. If it's different, then I will put it here. Grab some turkey meatballs. Six meatballs, four smart points. I think that's pretty good, so I'm kind of excited to try those. And all this is from Aldi's on this side. Um, cottage cheese, three smart points for a half a cup. I picked up that extra can of Great Northern Beans that I needed, and all the rest of this stuff is what I showed you earlier, so I'm just going to set that off to the side. Non-fat Greek yogurt, so I grabbed that so I could make some dip out of that. Picked up some of these um, sugar-free sours, zero smart points. They're like, I don't know, two calories for one piece, so I'm not going to worry about those. Um, I needed some marinara sauce for my pasta fagioli soup. Two smart points for a half cup of this. So that's about what I needed the points to be for my soup to come in lower. Got my husband some bagels, seven smart points each on those if you were wondering. English muffins, three smart points for that. I already talked about the cottage cheese. Um, grab some center cut bacon, and I like to have this on hand because we do like to have club sandwiches for dinner sometimes. Not bad, three smart points, I'm sorry, three, three slices for two smart points on that. 
Um, picked up some coleslaw. This is my Walmart stuff. Um, coleslaw, eggs, and another thing of cottage cheese because I was hoping they would have the fat free, but they didn't. So this one is two smart points versus the three smart points. Um, not much of a difference, but I needed to have two containers and I knew I was going to Walmart, so I thought I would check there. And the eggs I thought would be cheaper at Walmart. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to do the price comparison on that later. Um, all right, continuing on with Aldi's. I picked up some extra lean ground beef, two smart points for four ounces of that, and that's the 96.4. Picked up two packages of ground chicken. That's scanning at three smart points. I'm still up in the air on that, whether or not ground chicken should be zero smart points. But the new purple plan just says ground chicken. It doesn't say 98% fat free, so I need to do some more research on that one for myself and for you. Um, I think everything else here is zero smart points. I have radishes, spinach. I picked up some kale, some garden salad mix, um, and some carrots, and some apples. Now, this sweet kale chopped salad mix, I think this comes out to be five smart points per serving. Um, I'll double check that. If it's different, I will put it here in the comments. Last thing I grabbed from all these is this oven roasted turkey breast scans at one point, so that's pretty cool. It'd be nice just to have that as a backup in case we do want to have our club sandwiches or for my husband's lunches. Now at Sam's Club, I went ahead and grabbed a couple of these, um, just, I mean, there's a three pack, so one three pack of the cereal keepers. And I'm thinking about storing my sugar and my flour in these because I think they'll fit perfectly in my cabinet. Otherwise, I'll find another use for them, but I thought that this might be a, a real good storage, you know, storage container for those. I also picked up a big bag of the Iceberg and Romaine blend. I'm going to have the garden salad probably for lunch today, and I'll have this later in the week. And then grab some of those grilled chicken breast strips. That is zero smart points as well on the purple plan. So not too bad. I've set myself up for total success for this week. So time to get back on track. So let me know in the comments if you are also getting back on track and if you're ready to go. And I'm going to wrap this up real quick here. So with that said, you guys have a great day and stay tuned. So I'll try to do a what I ate today in the next few days.